Hi guys, welcome to Simply Jobs Farm. We're gonna be doing some planting of broom corn today. Woohoo! And for the for the rest, peace. <laughs> Hi guys, this, well, the first thing you have to do is make a little trench of, of a little spot. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. Corn just came up. <laughs> but that's okay. You're doing great so far. Just don't. So Bradley's about halfway down. How's it going, bud? Awesome. Well, don't eat it. So yeah, well, broom corn's not for eating. It's uh, more decorative now, but they used to use it to... Uh, to make to make brooms and um, one of the great things about broom corn if I swing around here while Bradley continues we've got corn planted over here sweet corn and we're not going to get cross-pollination from this so um, they say 150 feet we're out we're certainly nowhere near 150 feet now this corn's been planted uh, three weeks ago but in front of this corn where it's bare right there we planted that corn last week and it's still evergreen sweet and that's 98 days so it takes a long time and you get worried when you plant corn different types of varieties next to each other that uh you know they'll cross pollinate all right so you're down you've gotten all the the first uh, cut down okay all right let's do it one more time okay now bradley what's the best part of the hoe to use when you're making these trenches this trench here well first of all you have to get to the, some sort of edge we get the edge, uh -huh. put it right in the ground, right, like, just like that, and okay, big okay. nice, nice spot. Okay, so that makes the trench better than doing it flat, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you like do this, it won't go in that good. It won't it be as good. Will, looks like looks like the edge would go in deeper. That yes. would, that's what you want, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's finish up this trench here. Yeah, I found something when I was over over somewhere. Grasshopper. Oh, huh, yeah. We got plenty of grasshoppers around here. About a few hundred. Okay, bud. So, what does corn like to eat the most? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. What do you got there? It says blood meal. Blood Ni meal. Nitrogen. All right, don't don't pour it all out, bud. Okay. Yeah, we got some blood meal we're going to put down um, right where we're going to plant the corn to give it a jump start on its uh, on some of its nutrients here. So okay. Let's get that in. Um, this is what I came up with. My dad just this said I should do this on camera so this okay. is what I did. Alright, just putting down a little bit of blood meal here. Right where we're gonna put the broom corn. I should also mention that broom corn you don't have to have see how over here we have corn in blocks? You don't have to do that with the broom corn. Um, so we're just doing this one row. Yeah. Okay, Bradley uh, show what the seeds look like here. They're so tiny, bro. Yeah, they're so tiny. In fact, they're so tiny. I mean, I read the instructions. They say to plant the seeds a half an inch deep. So we kind of went back. We didn't cut it down three inches and we won't cover up as much. But uh, go ahead and start putting them down, bud. It's two inches apart. And uh, yeah, just cover it up lightly like that. And we're gonna go so, down the row. So no birds could That's see right, it. we don't want the birds to see it. Because they love, love seeds. Oh yeah, if you leave one uncovered, they'll find a good chunk of them. Of course, so we'll I got it all in right now, so. You're all on the ground, huh? Yeah. Okay. And um, when you are done, you just sit down and watch it grow. Well, Put we got, water on it. Yeah, we got, well, spray some water on it, just get a little damp for the night. Uh, 
we'll show how this is coming along this summer and uh what do we what do you want us uh, people to do uh for our for our sites there bud uh you like the page like the page and subscribe right subscribe let's see if we can get one million likes in on this video okay. right now right now all righty all right take care guys peace